This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question is asking us to look at this table three and determine, so at higher temperatures, reducing the dissolved on, um, oxygen content in the snail's environment causes life expectancy to do what? So we want to determine the relationship between the um, dissolved O2 and life expectancy. So let's look at our table. Our table is, is uh, giving us three things. It's giving us the temperature of the water where we're dissolving this oxygen, um, how the rates of uh, dissolved oxygen content, and this age when 50% are dead. So this is gonna give us our life expectancy measure. So the, if the age is greater, then the life expectancy is higher. So let's look at our choices. Um, so we wanna see, first off, uh, does it increase, decrease, um, remain constant, or cannot be determined? So, okay, so we want to look at higher temperatures. So let's look just at this 25, since this is our highest temperature range. If we reduce the dissolved oxygen content, so what we're doing um, right here, so it's going down from 100 to 50, what happens to the life expectancy? We see that the life expectancy actually goes up because it goes from 19 to 20 to 25. So this should be our answer. So we're decreasing O2 and we're increasing life expectancy. So choice one, increase is going to be correct. It doesn't decrease, it's an inverse relationship. It's definitely not remaining unchanged because these are significant numbers. And it can in fact be determined, so choice one is our answer.